last season, we watched Justin Miller and Tom Simon make a deal with Allie Webb for their cookie mix for dogs, Zookies. I'm an investor in Healthy Spot, which is an upscale boutique for dogs and cats and animals, and it's growing unbelievably. So I'm willing to make you an offer. You have a deal. You have a deal. Let's see what they're up to now. Partnering with Ali was hands down the best decision we've ever made. Zuki's Cookies is now found in all 17 locations of Healthy Spot up and down the coast of California. Once Ali came on board, the first thing that we tackled was packaging design. Our new branding is night and day different. Hi guys. Hey. Hello. Hey. How's it going? Today we're hosting the Great Bark and Bake Off, a huge community event. Ali helped put this all together. This is going to be an awesome day. You guys, this looks amazing. It pops on shelves really well too. Yeah. It really pops on shelves. I just love Tom and Justin because they have so much passion and energy. The idea is different and new. I just couldn't be more excited to be a part of it. What a treat. The event today is all about brand awareness, getting live feedback from not only our customers, but from our furry friends as well. Hi, guys. <laughs> when we pitched on Shark Tank, we had done about 40,000 in sales. In the five months since airing, we have tripled our sales to almost $124,000. Allie has been an amazing addition to the team. She's really rolled up her sleeves and made some incredible introductions for us. We actually wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for Allie and the deal that we made on Shark Tank. In season 10, we watched Dan Tran make a deal with Robert Herjavec for his men's shirt brand, Buttercloth. Congratulations, oh. Dan. <laughs> Let's see what they're up to now. In Shark Tank, I feel like I'm jumbling. It has been seven months. We've done three million dollars in sales and sold 30,000 shirts. Dan! Butter Club has a pop-up event in Los Angeles today. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Three million dollars in sales in seven months. That's incredible. I am so proud of Dan. It's amazing. I have my own collection! He inspired us to create Robert Herjavec collection and it's our best-selling collection. Nice this to my meet mom. you, I'm Robert. This is my nice dad. I grew up in Vietnam and worked with my family in a small tailor shop. I learned a lot from my mom and my dad, especially my mom. She taught me everything. She said that you can create your own destiny. You can create anything you want. I achieved my American dream. I love the product, but I love him. You know, I saw a kindred spirit in Dan. We're fellow immigrants. I know how hard it is. And this is the great thing about this country. Look at Dan. He started with nothing and he's creating the American dream for himself, for his family, and making me proud. In season 10, Lucinda Cramsey made a deal with Jamie Siminoff for her meat subscription box service, Moink. All right, let's get her done. Get her done. <laughs> Let's see how Moink is doing now. I came on Shark Tank to make a difference. I wasn't just representing my family farm, but family farms all across America. Look, Big Ag is crushing the family farm. So I created Moink to help farmers connect tender-hearted carnivores with high quality, humanely raised meats from small family farms like mine. Jamie! I'm in LaBelle today to check out Moink's operations. I wanted to bring my son here to show him another part of the country and how entrepreneurship can truly change the world no matter where you are. Today's an exciting day. It's our annual Harvest Fest. It's a chance to celebrate the harvest in our way of life. We rise and fall together here in LaBelle. When I pitched on Shark Tank, I did $815,000 worth of revenue. It's been less than a year, and we've done $2.8 million dollars. I outgrew my pick and pack facility and had to move my operations to Kansas City. We've welcomed 15 family farms to our growing network and we're vetting hundreds more. I am a woman of my word and I intend to send to Calvary for every single farmer that has reached out to Moink and said, can you help me? Yes, I can and I will. Welcome to the family farm. It's so important to do things for more than just money, but to do something that matters. Lucinda and Moink is doing something that matters to the communities. It matters for our food supply. It matters for our families. Mm -hmm. To me, the Shark Tank experience has meant that you can dream a big dream. If one person, ill-educated and rough around the edges from a town of 600, can rise up and make an impactful dent in America's food problem, my goodness, what can other people do?
Last season, Barbara Corcoran made a deal with Mitch Allen for his Santa staffing business, Hire Santa. From Santa and all the elves at the North Pole, Hire Santa would love to do a deal with you, Barbara. You got it. Let's see how Hire Santa is doing now. Come on, Santas, we don't want to be late. Today, I'm in the heart of Manhattan on a very jolly mission. Bloomingdale's has decided to use Hire Santa to staff their flagship store on days that Santa can't be here himself. Okay, Santas, Mitch and I have some business to do. Mrs. Claus, don't you dare let these boys be naughty. <laughs> we'll be finalizing the deal today, as well as holding some Santa auditions. The holidays are such a big deal at Bloomingdale's, especially here. Hire Santa's business is dependent on hiring the right people to play Santa Claus. And I'm taking these auditions very seriously. I want perfect Santa Clauses. Santa will try his very best to be here. But in case he's not, we'll have some of Santa's friends take his place. Okay, Santa, give us your best ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! When I pitched Hire Santa, sales for 2017 were $331,000. After making a deal on Shark Tank, our sales in 2018 were $1.4 million. What's your favorite Christmas movie? We use Barbara's investment to hire people specifically for sales and marketing. As head elf, this has freed me up to focus on big picture growth. Now I'm closing deals with great partners like Great Wolf Lodge and T-Mobile. Santa, you've got the job. Oh! How wonderful! When I first met Mitch on Shark Tank, I thought he's the kind of guy that can make things happen. And with all of his perseverance, we have a multi-million dollar business, proving that Christmas is really about dreams coming true. Yeah. The Santa business is an evergreen business. 50 years from now, people will still want Santa to come to their home, to their office, to the retail store. So I think Hire Santa can be around for a really long time and really help bring the love and joy of Christmas to millions of people around the world. Ho, ho, ho! Last season, Barbara Corcoran made a deal with brothers Brian and Caleb Lewis for their gourmet Belgian waffle business, Press Waffle Company. This like, is sick. It's what? sick in a good way. <laughs> Let's see how they're doing now. A gourmet Belgian waffle is change your life kind of good. It is an authentic Liège style recipe with clusters of Belgian pearl sugar, giving it a caramel crust and a candy coating. Mm, I want one right now. <laughs> Before Shark Tank, we had done $450,000 in sales. Since we made a deal with Barbara, we've done $1.3 million in sales. Today, we're here in Oklahoma City for the grand opening of our fourth location and our first outside of Texas. We are so excited to have Barbara here today with us. <laughs> I came here to share the success, but what I never expected was the energy in this room and how many people are cheering for these guys. This is a business that is going to go as high and as crazy as these guys dreamt it would. And last but certainly not least, I want you guys to meet our very first franchise partners. We're going to be opening the very own store in just a few short weeks. Woo! What's great about the franchise model is someone who wants to be in business for themselves can buy into a brand. They don't have to discover the formula all their own. They can make Mimic what has worked before. There's no better way to start a partnership than break bread together. Let's break some waffles. <laughs> it's one thing to have a big dream, but these brothers have put in the hard work that it takes to make that dream come true. And I get to play fairy godmother, helping them all along the way. How do you like that one? From the moment we started this business, we knew we wanted to try to make a deal on Shark Tank. It gives a couple of brothers like us the opportunity to grow our business into something that is good for our families, our team members, and our franchise partners alike. In season six, David Heath and Randy Goldberg struck a deal with Damon John for Bombas, their sock company with a social mission. We have a deal. We'll take Bongo. the deal. Let's see how they're doing now. Six years ago, we quit our jobs to start a sock company. We wanted to have an impact in the community by donating a pair of socks for every pair sold, but we had no idea that it would turn into the movement that it is today. We've done over $225 million in revenue and donated over 30 million pairs of socks to those in need. For years, our customers have been asking for more. So a few months ago, Bombas launched the most comfortable t-shirt ever. Just like our socks, for every t-shirt we sell, we're gonna donate one to the homeless community. We have been giving socks to the Bowery Mission since we started this company, and we couldn't be more excited to have our t-shirt donation event with them. What size would you like? Medium? 
The Bombas Donation t-shirt is built to meet the needs of people who are experiencing homelessness. It's extra durable, it has reinforced seams, and an antimicrobial treatment so it stays fresh longer between washes. Man, you don't need extra lard. You need a lard like me, man. Same size as me, brother. It's absolutely amazing to be here in the community and seeing the people one-on-one and pressing the palms with them and talking to them. How you doing, man? Hey, my brother. What's happening? How you doing? This is not about checkbook philanthropy. This is rolling up your sleeve and being able to meet the ones that you are serving. Nice to meet you. It's always so inspiring to keep doing events like this, giving back to the community as it reminds us why we do what we do. You always make it good when you come. You always make it good. This has been such a unique investment for me. I've learned so much about a social cause. I've learned about giving to a community and making sure that it's infectious where other people want to give as well. It is absolutely amazing, and I'm proud to be part of it. In season 10, Rohan Oza made a deal with Allison and Stephen Ellsworth for their apple cider vinegar drink, Mother Beverage. 400,000 for 25%. We'd Good. love to do We'd business to do with business. you. Yeah. Let's see how they're doing now. On Shark Tank, I was nine months pregnant. I actually had the baby about 12 days later. What I don't think people realize is that you can do it all. You can live your dream, have a company, and have a family. The night Shark Tank aired, within a few hours, we were sold out of products. But we hit a major roadblock. We quickly learned that we couldn't trademark the word mother in mother beverage. Yay! Hey, what's up, guys? Rohan advised us that we needed to rename our company. We had to say no to all the retailers that were approaching us. Despite putting the business on hold, we still did a million dollars in business. Look at the difference. Like, what we've created is unbelievable. Mother Beverage is now Poppy. Poppy is a play off of soda pop. It's an alternative to soda because it's low in sugar and full of benefits. Tomorrow's liquid in tomorrow's brand. I love how this whole package turned out. The design, it's almost like an artist designed it. You want to grab it. You see it on shelf, you want to gravitate to it. I love the brand so much that I've doubled the investment. We've got the formula. Let's go launch Poppy. This is insane! Rebranding gave our business a new life. Before Shark Tank, we were only in 200 retail locations. Now we're launching in over 1,000 locations nationwide, starting with Whole Foods, Sprouts, and Lifetime Fitness. It tastes amazing, and you feel good about drinking. I've been this excited about a beverage since by nine years ago. I want to have the first billion-dollar brand on Shark Tank. I think Poppy has that potential. Great job, guys. The whole Shark Tank experience, we honestly couldn't have asked for more. We got a deal with the shark that we wanted, and we've created the company and a brand that we feel truly amazing about. Poppy! Earlier this season, Shark Tank announced a special sweepstakes for high school students. Four winners won a personal video chat with their favorite shark. And the sharks had a special surprise for the grand prize winner, Connolly. Hey, guys. Do you all know that Connolly won the sweepstakes? Yeah, Connolly. I've been watching Shark Tank for as long as I can remember. Every Sunday night, me and my friends watch Shark Tank together. We love it, it's such a fun show. In the future, I would love to start my own business, so this is definitely one of the coolest things that's ever happened to me. Connolly, come with us. By winning the sweepstakes, Connolly and her family are gonna be able to come out and visit us on set, but that wasn't enough for the sharks. We wanted to come out here to Chattanooga, Tennessee and surprise the entire school. Let's give a big Charger welcome to the sharks from Shark Tank. We're here to inspire the entrepreneurs of tomorrow. We also invited one of my Shark Tank companies, Zubi, and Junior Library Guild to come out and join us. We're donating $10,000 of brand new books. We're giving every student access to our Beanstack software. We want to get them fired up about starting their own businesses and being the next generation of sharks. Who are the people who've inspired you to be entrepreneurs? What are some of the sacrifices an entrepreneur must make? How would you advise us as teenagers to get started? How many people here are on TikTok? All right, that's an opportunity. Go into a business that you think is doing business the old way. You show them how to activate social media. Most people out there that have several years on you are gonna need your help. We need more young people to be entrepreneurs because they're the next generation of problem solvers. They see the world in a whole new light. Connolly posts a tweet and the five of us show up today. The impossible can happen. All it takes is one great idea. There is one kid sitting out there in a high school somewhere that's going to change the world. Great job, Tom. Thank you. Well Thank you. This day has been incredible. To be able to meet the Sharks has just been an absolute dream come true. 
The message we want to send to these kids today is whatever they dream of, whatever they want to be, they can be entrepreneurs, they can be successful, and they are our future.